We all know about that kitchen chemistry experiment using baking soda and vinegar. We did that when we were kids. We took some baking soda, some vinegar, and we put them together for a nice little volcano eruption. But did you know that your house has other items that you can use for other kitchen chemistry experiments? With some of the things you can find in your home, you can have a lot of fun with science. Similar to using baking soda and vinegar, you can use baking powder and vinegar. Just take a little bit of baking powder, put in some vinegar, and you can see the reaction taking place. If you've ever been on the other end of sniffing a milk container and finding out it's gone bad because it's got spoiled, that is a chemistry experiment we do not want to experience. But did you know that if you take milk and vinegar that you can actually make plastic? The first thing you're gonna need to do is heat the milk up. You can just put it in a microwave safe bowl or heat it right on the stove. You want the milk to be warm in temperature. So again, I have my quarter cup of milk, warm milk, and my one tablespoon of vinegar and I'm mixing it up and you can see it all starting to coagulate and get thick into it. And you're gonna stir for one minute doing this. Then you're gonna strain it out and pat it with a paper towel so that all you have is this gooey chunkiness that you can then shape and mold into whatever you want. And those would become your little plastic creations once they dry. In this experiment, we're gonna use some sugar and some yeast and some warm water. You want it to be warm water, not hot water, because hot water will actually kill the yeast. So you're gonna take one and a half teaspoons of sugar, a packet of yeast. You're then gonna pour in three fourths a cup of warm water. and stir. Now the sugar is going to activate the yeast with the warm water and you're gonna see bubbles start to form. Now all we need is some flour and salt and we can start making our own pizza dough. Now this experiment smells a little nice because you're using lemon. For this one, we're just gonna take a lemon and the idea is we want some lemon juice. So I'm going to cut the lemon in half and then I'm going to use some baking soda. I'm just going to take about a teaspoon of baking soda and then squeeze the lemon into the baking soda. And what you get is a bubbling, fizzing reaction. Now this one is a lot of fun and requires you acting like a secret agent. What you're going to need is lemon juice. So you're gonna squeeze the lemon juice out of the lemon, and now you can write a secret message. So I just wrote, I love you. And now what you wanna do is you wanna let that dry. Now that it's dried, all you need is a heat source. A hair dryer works really well for this. And there you have it. I love you shows up because the lemon juice actually caramelizes, which makes it brown. So that's what you're seeing, the caramelization of the lemon juice, which makes it now stand out. I love you. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science,
technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.